exploitate the conversion algorithms right next to the update, just because that's often where you change data. And it's reasonably near the model, so you can scroll up and look at the data if you're confused about what your model is. So the first one is Fahrenheit to Celsius. When you type in that field, you want to have some kind of Fahrenheit float value and convert it to a Celsius value. And the algorithm for that is you take the Fahrenheit value float that you pass in, you minus it of 32, and then divide that by 1.8. Just do the reverse for Celsius to Fahrenheit. Take your Celsius value, multiplied by 1.8, then you add 32. And that's how you go back and forth. So let's play around with this. Assuming that our Fahrenheit is legit, right? We know we parsed it successfully and it's valid. Then let's go ahead and change the numbers. We'll say the Fahrenheit is whatever the user typed, right? It's a number, it's good. That's what they want the, the Fahrenheit number to be. But the Celsius has got to be converted because it's what they typed. So we'll say the Fahrenheit to Celsius is the number that they typed in. And that'll convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So now we've got, I want the Fahrenheit in the Fahrenheit field to be what I type, 32. And the Celsius, I want it to be whatever that number is because I'm American and I'm stupid and I don't know a metric. And we'll do the reverse for here. So we'll say Fahrenheit. Actually, let's do Celsius first to be polite. Celsius equals the number they typed in, and then the Fahrenheit is the reverse. So say Fahrenheit equals the Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion, conversion number. And now when we compile and run this cat, type in 32, let's go to our debug real quick. You can see that our Fahrenheit is 32, and everyone's valid. And the Celsius is zero. So when we go back and type zero, not O, zero, you can see the Celsius is negative 17. And if we go back to my favorite and we'll type in a Celsius of, I think it's 32, I think. Yeah, gives me a Fahrenheit of like 89, which is, you know, 80s and 90s, I love that, that temperature. So Celsius of 32, 31, whatever, around 30 on up, right? We're good. And so you can see the values are correct. And so it's parsing correctly. It's going between the values. If I type in Celsius, it converts to Fahrenheit and vice versa. So how do we inject that into the field? Well, there's a little trickery there because of the validity of the field. It only really works if you type. So let's go ahead and show how that works.